All right. Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining our uh, community call today. Today, we're going to have uh, regional chapter updates from uh, each of the region, uh, APAC regions. So before we go on to the updates from the regions, I just want to highlight some uh, Odyssey news uh, as usual. So the first one uh, will, uh, Morning was highlight, uh, was uh, appointed as a collaborator uh, a spotlight uh, in the collaborator spotlight series for the Odyssey uh, Global. And uh, Odyssey India also had a webinar, briefly going to touch on that. And also I'm going to highlight that the Global Symposium's uh, collaborator showcase is due actually this end of this week. So. Let me go just quickly go through these, right? So Mornin, as you guys know, he holds a position as the assistant professor at the National University of Singapore. And he's also one of the co-chairs of uh, Odyssey Singapore. And he, he was featured in the recent collaborative uh, spotlight of Odyssey. If you go to the link here, um, I really want I, I really want to share a, uh, a fun fact for today, right? I didn't know, but apparently like this you guys can uh, knock yourselves out read about it but i didn't know morning was a dancer during his uh, younger years look at look at this picture oh god like i wonder how many times uh, somebody took this photo for him but that is what i call a life pic right you don't get a lot of those pictures in your lifetime so yeah i wish morning was here so we can make fun of him but yeah unfortunately he's not here with us but yeah guys um like um Odyssey usually uh, normally generally has these uh, collaborative spotlights uh, re like over the few months Jing was featured there and Nicole was featured there. So if you go here, you can read all about these uh, people and you know, Nicole is here as well, right? She has a very high interest in roses as well and same as Mui here. So let's, you know, we can have a session on roses and we can have a session on dancing as well. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> sorry, I'll stop with the side talk. Yeah, anyways, morning was featured. Uh, going back to the slides uh, for for Odyssey India, right? So India unfortunately won't be with us today. Uh, they they had a hectic week of preparing for the webinar they actually had yesterday. So just yesterday they hosted their first webinar, and the title of the webinar was "Redefine Indian Healthcare with Real World Data and Real World Evidence." So Nicole, again, uh, sorry to call you out, but she was one of the uh, speakers at this event. It was great hearing about Australia. The other two speakers was giving uh, a brief outline on the potential benefits and difficulties of using real world evidence in India and also the recent developments that the uh, Odyssey India chapter was uh, uh, having uh, during the recent months. So the recording, uh, according to the uh, organizers of the event, will be made available soon. So if you weren't able to attend the event live, please keep an eye out on their on the Odyssey India official website you see right here. And last but not least, uh, I'm sure a lot of you are already preparing for this. Some of you have probably have already submitted, but the Global Symposiums Collaborator Showcase is um, currently open and it will close Saturday, June 17th, 9 a.m. Korea time. So uh, it's it, it's strange. It's closing on Saturday, but we need to you know keep in mind that uh, the times are the time zones they're considering is in the uh, U.S. Eastern time, right? So it closes on Friday for the U.S. people, but it closes first on Saturday for us. So if you guys want to do a overnight or on Friday and submit your abstracts, I think that will be a very good uh, last chance for you to submit. So oh, go ahead, Mui. I just want to comment that uh, one of the um, criteria for the posters is you can submit to multiple symposiums. So for those who actually have an APAC submission for July, you can submit to the global symposium as well, uh, given the difference in time zone and the difference in the audiences. And then if you guys really, really need an extension, um, some exceptions can be made, not a lot, but you just need to email the Odyssey folks, um, Odyssey, I think it's Odyssey support um, team, and they can talk to um, the leaders to see if you can get an extension. But we would love to see more papers and, well, posters, sorry, from the APAC side at the symposium, at the global symposium, a, a bigger representation of it. So. Just so, so, you know, you don't have to do too much work. Just take it in your <laughs> head and put it over there, right? 
you can reuse. Uh, that, essentially, that's what you're saying, right? The okay. only that's the only one that you can reuse it for between the two big, the global one and the APAC one. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. That's great news, uh, guys. You know, it's just filling up, uh, filling the form now, right? Uh, so if you go to the Odyssey website, I'll just show it to you, right, guys? So if you go to the Odyssey website, go to the 20, 2000, 2023. Oh, looks like Craig has put in a direct link here. So if you land on Odyssey.org and you click this uh, link here, it'll just take you right to the submission form. So log into your account and submit, and I think you guys are good to go. Uh, you And I think the reviews will be done according to uh, the current plans by, where are you? Yeah, by- Until beginning of August. Yep, so huh. you'll get notification by mid-August, so. Mm -hmm. Right, so, um, you know, hope to see a lot of the APAC folks at the Global Symposium, uh, and, Wish a lot of work from the Odyssey APAC gets um, so what's uh, showcased. The, what's the date for the Global Symposium? What's the date? October 20th to the 22nd. It's in New Jersey. Um, okay. I can't say the name of the town right there. Brunswick. East, oh. East Brunswick. East yeah. Brunswick. Oh, East Brunswick. <laughs> so that... we changed it from uh, uh, the, the, um, the uh, Bethesda. Bethesda to this one to move it around a bit. Um, and this is where it's going to be. So, okay. how, far, and then, how, far, how far away is New Jersey from New York? Is that close by? Uh, uh, it's, 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 it's next, next week. It's about a, next week, it's next about week, a 30 time. minute transit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh that's okay. close. Okay. Very close. Yeah. Very yeah. close. Yeah. So, we'd, it's not we'd fly far. into New York, right? And then catch the train out. I yeah. fly uh, into New York. You can fly into New York, you generally fly into New Jersey. And so you're yeah. actually closer to East Brunswick. Yeah. Uh, okay. So you don't find the JFK or LaGuardia, you fly to New York. York. Yeah, New York uh, Airport. So yeah. Okay. They're right next to each other. Okay. But still, that's the closer. Uh, uh, that's the closer one. But the other thing is, if you guys really uh, can't go, uh, it, but still want to, again, you can still put your poster through. And if you can't go, we can look for representatives to help uh show, those that are going to help showcase your posters right so i want to make sure that's also something that can happen um if you guys can't go then we can help find people to help to help say represent hey here's some posters from apac excellent it's great news guys so your participation is highly encouraged well, uh, I think Mu is essentially saying she can represent you. <laughs> oh, not me. No, 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 no. Others, there are plenty of others who can represent, you know. Uh, I will be doing the poster walk, but there's going to be plenty of people who can represent. Excellent. All right. So, yeah, that's the last uh, the last news I had prepared for today. So, moving right on, right? So, uh, we have some chapter updates. We're going to start with Taiwan. Uh, Jason, do you want me to keep sharing or would you like to take the screen? Can you help me to 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 sure. organize? Okay. Uh, yeah. So hello everyone. Uh, now uh, I just uh, quickly um, share some updates from uh, Odyssey Taiwan. Please next. Yeah. So uh, here are some members in Odyssey Taiwan Society Office. I just add more uh, members um, to to these slides uh, compared to the um, previous. So uh, we have more and more people to join us. OK, next one. Next slide. Yeah, so some uh, about the Odyssey Taiwan Society, because you know uh, we create this society uh, in 2022. So uh, we have a member from not only just uh, TMU, uh, Taipei Medical University system, but also some members from uh, the other hospital in Taiwan. And then uh, what we have done, uh, the third board meeting will be held at uh, Jai uh, Christian Hospital in Jai in uh, um, this coming Sunday. So uh, we just want to uh, cooperate with our members in our society, co-members, and to um, to um, um, to have the board meeting over there together with some uh, big seminar, a big uh, um, conference. So uh, uh, there is a, a conf conference named the uh, Health. Uh, health big data seminar uh, this coming uh, weekend and and I think uh, Nicole was also invited to give a speak uh, in this uh, speech in this seminar and so we will uh, to promote Odyssey um, in this uh, seminar 
and also uh, we have promoted the Odyssey network in the uh, in in Taiwan in uh, industry, including AZ, Oracle, and also uh, some hospitals like uh, Wanfang Hospital, uh, uh, Taiwan Adventist Hospital, Chenggong Hospital, Chang'an Hospital, and we also promote uh, Odyssey Taiwan in other uh, institutes like the Taiwan National Institute of um, Health. And I in um, in the past months, I also invited Nico and uh, Morning to give a lecture in our, to share their experience about uh, Odyssey um, uh, learning and Odyssey uh, cohort um, studies in my uh, class, my course. And uh, uh, what about the, the future? Um, the next board meeting will be held in uh, another city in Taichung, uh, um, Tong's Metro Harbor Hospital. And this is also one of our members hospitals. So we are going to uh, promote Odyssey once again uh, during the uh, conference. And uh, also we will um, continue to promote Odyssey network to other pharmaceutical companies, CRO companies and the uh, government agencies, uh, local medical centers and also uh, insurance uh, institute. And then we have already planned to support uh, to develop um, Odyssey in um, Vietnam and also uh, uh, in Indonesia because we have some connections about the hus hospitals over there and then we, we are going to uh, promote Odyssey Taiwan and also Odyssey Network and to um, support them if they are interested in Odyssey and to do the uh, data, uh, common data model to, uh, to convert their database to uh, OMOP. Okay, next one. Next slide, please. About uh, studies, what we have done, uh, we uh, joined uh, one SOS challenges, which is about uh, fluorocorinone led by uh, Nico. And uh, we have already uh, joined um, three studies uh, initiated by others APEC in 2022, including uh, the COVID one uh, led by Chen and uh, uh, multiple sclerosis, sclerosis led by uh, Nico and also the quality study led by uh, led by Chong Su King. And what we have we want to do in the future, um, we uh, we have already present submitted four abstracts uh, to a 2023 Odyssey APEC symposium, including four uh, topics. And we are going to uh, call for international collaborators during the symposium. And uh, we hope to have more um, collaborators from the other country and to um, join us during these four uh, studies. And we have already developed the other two abstracts for global symposium. So we are going to submit uh, the abstract uh, maybe today or tomorrow. Next, please. OK, so this is our uh, website and welcome to visit our website if you are interested in that. OK, I think this is the last one. Yes, thanks. All right, thanks, Jason, uh, for the great presentation. So any questions from the floor? All right, I see a bunch of applauses. Excellent. Uh, so uh, if no uh, questions or if you have any questions, we can also uh, allocate a little time at the end of the uh, uh, presentations uh, from all the chapters. So next we're going to go to China. So we'll have Lei present um, uh, on behalf of uh, Odyssey China. So Lei, uh, do you want to take the screen or shall I keep uh, sharing? No, uh, you can keep sharing. Sure. OK, uh, thank you. Uh, hi, hi, Bui. Hi, everyone. Um, yeah, Odyssey China is uh, uh, established by uh, Hua Xu um, a couple of years ago. And then now we have four uh, co-chairs. I'm uh, one of them. And then Hui Lu and uh, Yi Zhou also uh, co-chairs. One is from um, Shanghai Jiao Tong University. The other one is from uh, Xi'an uh, University. So the, the objectives of our uh, chapter is to promote uh, Odyssey strategy and methodology in China. I think in recent years, there are more and more hospitals and uh, institutions adopting the Odyssey uh, framework. And, and then um, I think we uh, receive more requests for training uh, as well. <clears throat> so the training is a uh, very, uh, um, I think it's heavy in right now in, in China. Um, and the second objective is to create 
um, collaboration activities um, that encourage the cooperative research among the healthcare institutions in China. So in this part, um, I think we are uh, working with uh, different universities and their affiliate uh, hospitals try to establish the Odyssey framework. Um, I, I will talk about it uh, in what is we have done in Fudan later. So next slide, please. OK, so uh, to keep the, uh, the chapter um, activities going, uh, we have a monthly lectures. Um, so every month we uh, invite um, an investigator or a researchers in the field. Uh, this is what uh, we, we listed here. So in February, we have uh, um, uh, Meng Feng who, you know, who just uh, featured in, 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 our, in Odyssey Global, right? So uh, give us talk and uh, uh, and then in March, we have a uh, Hua Xu, now is in Yale, and give us a talk. Uh, and then um, the, in April, we have a local uh, a speaker, which is from Shanghai Hospital Development Center. And this uh, center uh, is uh, um, administrating all the major hospitals in Shanghai, and they have a huge amount of data accumulated, more than 800 million um, patient's record. So um, they are trying to um, um, to make it uh, for for the research. So that's why we invite the, one of their directors to give us talk. And, and then last month, uh, we have a, a researcher from um, University of uh, Hunan, um, who is an uh, expert on uh, open air. Uh, open air is another system, which is, I, I guess, is uh, similar to uh, um, HL7. Um, and so they have uh, like a network in China for open air. So we have, have uh, him to give a talk. And then this month, well, we will have uh, uh, university, uh, uh, Professor Wu from University of Florida uh, to talk about uh, GPT models in medicine. So um, so we keep us uh, keep uh, all the um, lectures open. So basically it's online. And then um, most of the talks in um, in Chinese, and so so the audience are most of them in Chinese. So <clears throat> so that's a, and also we're planning to uh, to have uh, workshops, not only the, the lectures, the workshops, and and also I have I, I have a course, uh, undergrad course, which is uh, half of them are going to use uh, use the Odyssey uh, materials. So that's uh, the teaching part. Uh, next slide, please. Okay, so um, we have we are working on a project which is in, uh, within my institution, the Fudan University. Uh, we have uh, more than uh, eighteen affiliated hospitals, but major hospitals. There are six major hospitals. Um, so we're working on a network which is we call a clinical research data network based on private computing. And this network um, is uh, we we have in installed the uh, com private computing platforms um, in all six hospitals and also in the Shanghai Medical College, which uh, we are the coordinator center. So we coordinate uh, all this uh, the, uh, data activities and the data will stay in the hospital, uh, but through this uh, private uh, network, um, we can have the data shared. Uh, between the hospitals, and so that's there's uh, three steps. First, we have we construct a com, uh, private computing platform in each hospital, and the data collection and cleaning, and all the uh, ETL um, process is done in each individual hospitals. Um, and then we form this uh, data network and data sharing. Uh, I think the major obstacles is the policy. So probably uh, next, I think, no, in 10 days, we're going to have a meeting which have all the hospital directors joined, uh, going to talk about the policies of how to share the data. And then we, we you know, from that, we're going to have like a um, disease specific uh, research uh, network. So um, let's, for example, the liver cancer, you know, the Zhongshan Hospital have a liver cancer data and Huashan and Tumor Hospital, they all have uh, liver cancer data. So then we can form uh, kind of a disease specific disease um, data network so they can the, the investigators can really easily to use this network to conduct their research so that's a so this homework uh, this framework i have not finished yet but hopefully 
will be online um, by the end of this year. But uh, for the APAC meeting, we submitted a, a poster uh, introducing this uh, this framework. Um, maybe, you know, as we said, maybe we can submit the same one to uh, to the global symposium, right? OK, that's all I want to talk about. Thank you. Thanks, Lei. Um, are there any uh, questions for Lei in the floor? All right, uh, silence is good. Uh, most of the time, right? So next uh, we'll have Nicole uh, to present on, on uh, their uh, updates on the Australia chapter. Okay, there we go. So Nicole, shall you? Shall I continue or do you want to take the screen? Yeah, no, just go ahead, continue. Excellent. That'd be great, thank you. Okay, so um, thanks everybody uh, for uh, attending today. Our update from the Australian chapter is all about the symposium, really. So we've been working really hard getting the agenda uh, organized for the Odyssey APAC Symposium, which will be uh, in exactly one month's time. So this time in, you know, four weeks, um, we'll all be in Sydney together, which will be fabulous. So um, it's a two day event on the 13th and 14th of July at the University of New South Wales. Um, so we have uh, the first day is the main conference and we're having 12 different presentations including seven lightning talks um, and I'm really excited about these lightning talks actually we have a representative from every chapter uh, across APAC and we're going to be walking through you know the odyssey journey really right from uh, data all the way to patient uh, level prediction so we've got a really good mix of lightning talks um, that we'll see the whole you know the process of odyssey um, through APAC so really excited about that and we'll also have a panel discussion about the future of APAC and, and where we want to take uh, our work so it's going to be a great session in the afternoon and of course chaired by Mui so it's going to be fabulous right um We've got two panel discussions as well um, and 35 poster presentations. So really excited about the breadth of work um, that will be showcased in Australia for the first time ever. Um, on day two, we have a tutorial day, so a full day tutorial session, which will be a bit of hands on work as well as some lectures. Um, and again, taking us through a process of doing a network study right from ETL all the way to interpretation of the results and the case study that we'll use will be focused on the fluoroquinolone SOS uh, challenge results. So um, for those of you that have followed along, um, it'll be great to have you come and, and, and talk about the experience, but also for those of you who haven't um, been involved in the SOS challenge, it's been a really exciting um, process to be involved in. So you'll learn all about how to do a network study, which will be great. Uh, we also have on day two in the morning uh, of day two, which is a, on a Friday, um, the oncology work group uh, has asked to do a special breakout session together. So there's going to be a small group of people um, who are really going to get together and really talk about the way forward uh, with the oncology extension uh, and, and what needs to be done next. So um, that's going to be a really great opportunity for those of you who are interested in the oncology work group um, work to come together and, and talk about it um, with some of the leaders of that work group. So um, if you'd like to attend that as well, um, there's a there's no separate kind of registration. You just let people know. Thanks. So I'll get to the next. This is really just um, highlighting some of the keynote speakers we have. So we're very lucky, um, of course, to have Patrick Ryan doing the keynote opening address. Um, Asia is also going to do a um, seminar on transforming health. And the theme of the meeting is really about what decision makers um, need from us as researchers and evidence generators. Um, what you know what uh, evidence they need, how confident they are in in that evidence, and what they will use that evidence for to improve health. So um, that's going to be a really, really exciting session from two really great um, speakers. Then we'll have a session uh, on the SOS challenge. So Jack um, will be leading uh, a presentation of the results we've got so far. Uh, and we'll have a panel discussion as well with the consumers of that information. So the regulators, the clinicians, and the actual consumers themselves. So we'll have a, a, a panel discussion about what they think about that um, evidence and what they might do with that 
uh, in their practice and how it might change um, their practice. So that's going to be really exciting to get their perspectives of those results as well. Um, so next slide. Uh, so, as I mentioned, um, the session four is the lightning talk, but session three, um, I'm quite excited about this session as well. It's really about how um, we can collaborate together with the different work groups to improve um, different aspects of, of OMOP. So we'll have an OMOP fire um, presentation by Graham Grieve uh, and talking about the challenges of, of both of the models and how they can work together to improve patient care, as well as the OMOP oncology work group as well. So they're going to be um, two really great sessions about extensions of OMOP and, and working together to improve patient care. So next slide. Uh, well, I won't go through this, but the tutorial is going to be great. Uh, next slide. Um, the work group, I've already talked about this breakout session for those of you interested in oncology and the um, website. So get on the website and register um, and be great to to have you there. So thanks, Song. I think the next two slides were just what's already been talked about, um, the quinolone study that we've been working on, so you can just jump through that. Um, and the India chapter, I was lucky enough to do a presentation last night um, to the Indian chapter, which was really exciting and attended by lots of people, so that was great to be part of that. Uh, and the Taiwan um, uh, conference coming up this Sunday as well. So lots of cross collaboration going on across APAC, which is really exciting. Thanks, that's me. All right, uh, thanks, Nicole. Um, again, um, you know, on, on behalf of the Odyssey APAC Symposium Planning Committee, I think, you know, you're doing a great job in from preparing for the event. As we get close to the event, I'm pretty sure you're going to feel the pressure more and more. But, you know, <laughs> it, it's almost like a wedding. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, I don't think everybody's uh, uh, married yet. But, yet, but <laughs> you know, you get so nervous, you get so tense. And then after the <laughs> wedding, you are so tired. You just, you know, even on the wedding day, you want to get rid of it, like get get it over and done with. Right. And we so, have a party. Great. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so All right, uh, now so, I'm going to have to ask Jason, was the symposium planning more stressful or your wedding more stressful? Because <laughs> <laughs> they both happened last year, right? Or the year before? I can't remember. Oh, really? I didn't know. Wow. Oh, I see. I see. Uh, it's uh, having two things in a row. Wow. Uh, I, I feel for you, Jason. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, uh, enough of the side talks. Sorry, guys. Like I keep doing side talks. But anyways, uh, that's all for Australia. Uh, next on the list, actually, we have, I think, Japan. Yeah. So, uh, 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 Hiromatsu-san, will you want me to keep sharing screen from my end? Oh, keep the screen, please. Okay, sure. Yes. Uh, in Japan, and today, I really focus on the new association as a practical body in Japan, I have developed a new one. So next, please. So the background is uh, in the Europe, there is Eden, and Korea, Hidanet, and in Japan, nothing. So it's a big problem. So Russia and Japan have no budget, so <laughs> very limited. So I, I need some uh, practical body. So I established uh, this year a new uh, practical body. Next, please. Yes, I established in March this year uh, the Association of Federated Medical Data Master. It's very young. So we use a call Hidwana uh, in short. Uh, please read the uh, objective. So basically, it's a uh, um, very Near to Eden and uh, Hidane, but very uh, much, much smaller than the uh, compared to Eden. Okay, next slide, please. These members of the association uh, consist of um, companies. This, the budget is from many companies. And uh, the members are academic directors. The activities are uh, like this. <laughs> and, and basically, to deploy 
infrastructure in Japan. So we're going to uh, design a more based common infrastructure. And based on that specification, the companies uh, will uh, deploy uh, the systems in the hospitals in Japan. So, but the specification is common, so all the systems are, can uh, work together. Other three, four, five, six are uh, very uh, common activities of the association. And other uh, activities uh, to focus on is uh, vocabulary mapping, the Japanese terminology. We uh, coordinate the local to uh, standard, and Japan standard to uh, OMOP standard. So by, by doing this, uh, we gonna uh, do a very, um, very common uh, investigation using the map. And next please, next slide please, yes. And this association is uh, just doing uh, core activities. So the actual network, or MOP network, is kept by uh, each group, uh, the company keeps network, one network, and the company two keeps networks. And other research group or association, uh, no, consortium will keep uh, other uh, uh, work. Group. And all the uh, network is uh, based on the same specification. So we can uh, federate and do the same investigation. And the external research group is a uh, not about databases, but part of the uh, hospitals of the research group has a map database, so we can uh, include the hospitals in our uh, research network. Yes. Uh, next, please. Yes, this is detailed uh, in a hospital. So the center is a map database. Um, basically, we get source data from EMR, but not limited to And some type of uh, output, the one top uh, yellow one is the uh, Odyssey, uh, mainly for academic uh, research. And the members of the association companies, so we also do uh, commercial use. Actually, commercially is done by the company, but we uh, coordinate with the companies. And the third one, the taxi, is, uh, is a Japan specific uh, organization, next generation uh, medical infant, it's something. <laughs> it's um, it's a gov government um, allowed organization that. Uh, gather and the database. We, we can um, send the uh, medical data to them. The other uh, type B is a person who has the good people. We can, we can put uh, data to them. So, in using the OMOP database, we, we have several choice. And the, each hospital has uh, multiple choice, and they can choose what they want. This is a uh, uh, system of the association. Uh, that's all. Thank you. All right. Uh, thanks, uh, Hiramasu-san. Uh, are there any questions for uh, Hiramasu-san from the floor? Right. So this is really interesting and feasible. I think. This is really feasible uh, uh, online to you know, build some system on, uh, in Japan. So do you have uh, a specific companies uh, who can join this system in Japan? Uh, uh, yes, um, I, we're talking to several companies. Uh -huh. and so, some of them have joined us. Uh, that's great, thanks.
Are, are the companies, uh, Hiramatsu-san, the members of the association that you just mentioned, or is it separate from, uh, is it uh, other companies other than the uh, members? Oh, well, companies, is a member companies. Ah, okay. Okay, great. Excellent. Uh, any other questions from the floor or uh, we can uh, move on to Singapore? All right, so thank you uh, for, uh, for Odyssey Japan for uh, your presentation. Uh, we'll have morning coming on as a recording. So I need to stop sharing and share again uh, to share computer sound. So give me a sec. All right, does everybody see a black screen? Yep, I can. All right, yeah. uh, I'm gonna play and you'll see, or lovely morning. Everybody loves morning, like everybody loves Raymond, right? All right. Hi everyone, I'm Morning here. And today I'm going to be representing the Odyssey Singapore chapter to share our updates from the last year. As I'll be traveling this week, I have limited internet access to ensure the presentation quality. So I'll be sharing with all of you uh, through a pre-recorded video. Um, therefore, if you have any questions or anything that you would like to discuss with us, um, want to reach out to us for collaborations, do send me an email. And, and here is my email address, ephfm and nus.edu.sg. And here it goes, uh, is the updates uh, for the Odyssey Singapore chapter. And for the last year, at least for my, for me personally, uh, one of my biggest tasks is to grow the younger talents. Uh, I'm afraid after a while, you all may be sick of my, my old face. Therefore, I'm growing more younger face in the uh, Singapore Odyssey team. And here, uh, some of you may have already met. Uh, uh, we have Yi Zhi and Yu Cheng, both are my PhD students in my lab. And um, uh, especially Yi Zhi, uh, she will be actually joining us in person in the uh, APEX Symposium in July, right? Uh, I look forward for her to interact with the, the rest of the leaders in the region and also the other researchers in the regions as well. Uh, for both Yi Zhi and Yu Cheng, uh, under the guidance uh, of uh, Professor Chan from South Korea, uh, they're both uh, involved in the APEX uh, study, focusing on the potential temporal changes in type 2 diabetes uh, after the uh, uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic. And uh, the abstract has been abstracted, uh, has been submitted and accepted in last year's uh, Odyssey US Symposium. And in addition, ESA has also uh, been helping out uh, the Singapore Institutes in participating in uh, another APEX study uh, focusing on uh, data quality assessment. And that one is guided um, by uh, uh, Chong Shun. And thanks to the supervision of Chong Sun. And again, uh, with the combined effort, uh, we have managed to submit a abstract to uh, AMIR uh, this year. And we look uh, forward to hearing positively from AMIR soon. Right. And next, uh, uh, we also have uh, Mukesh and Cindy as well uh, from the Singapore, uh, the A Star Institute. Uh, A Star is the National Research Institute in, in Singapore. And uh, if you've been following our, our the monthly uh, community calls, um, then you know that uh, not far ago, just last month, both Mukesh and Cindy has been sharing a, a, a short tutorial or seminar uh, on the data world they created as a research platform for the Singapore ecosystems and beyond. Um, in addition to that, um, if you want to learn more and interact more with Mukesh and Cindy, again, uh, like Yitzhi and me, both of them will be traveling to Sydney and join us for the APEC symposium again. And uh, in the symposium, uh, they will be presenting their uh, accepted abstract, uh, again, sharing more about the data work that they have uh, created and they have shared briefly during the um, tutorial last month. So do come to their uh, booth or, or the abstract booth to interact with them during the APEC symposium. Okay, so in addition to uh, our talent growth, uh, our map mapping efforts are going, uh, are going on. Uh, all of Singapore mapping efforts uh, started kind of since 2021. Again here, uh, let me remind you again, the, uh, the healthcare system in Singapore. Uh, I briefly shared this uh, last year, 
uh, just a recap for everyone. Uh, our Ministry of Health have divided uh, our island, uh, a very small country, into three healthcare clusters, namely the National University Health System, which is the, the star blue color uh, covering the west part of Singapore, um, and then the National Health Group covering the central north part of Singapore, and then the largest Sing Health covering the, the central east part of Singapore. And all these healthcare clusters have their own specialized hospitals and community hospitals and their own polyclinics. And they are also in associated, uh, even associated with their own uh, medical school as well. And, and the good news is that all three clusters uh, are on board uh, with the ETL process uh, to the OMO common data model and all the mapping effort that has been going on. And actually, uh, um, I just talked to all the leaders in the Institute uh, and understand that the demographic diagnosis and medication tables are, are almost done. Uh, now, one, one big task uh, that we are trying to do is that we want to harmonize all these mappings across different institutes uh, to make sure that um, different institutes in Singapore, we are all mapping different uh, Singaporean concepts to the right or the same uh, 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 OMOP uh, vocabulary, right? So that we know that um, from, at least from, from Singapore user, uh, when we mean the concept, everyone will map to the same uh, OMOP concept rather than uh, different ones to, so that we can harmonize it at least within Singapore. Um, and we target to complete the entire mapping uh, by the second quarter next year. Um, so still a lot of things are ongoing. And in addition to that, more exciting, uh, as Makesh may have shared last month, uh, Ministry of Health uh, has just launched a, a centralized uh, a national wide uh, data uh, data platform for research called a trust platform. They aim to integrate all research data across the entire country. Uh, obviously that, that that is a very huge uh, uh, vision and it takes time and many steps to complete. Um, but inspired by all the mapping uh, efforts and all the harmonizing effort, all the mapping scripts and harmonizing scripts are uh, being reused or, or be used to inspire or, or use as the template for the trust platform to create their mapping and harmonizing codes for the entire country's uh, data. Right. And uh, um, for the trust platform, right, a few large research groups are uh, particularly are, are doing their mapping under the trust platform, uh, which includes the, the S300K, uh, uh, Attract, SyncCloud, and, and everything. Uh, let me talk a little bit about uh, S300K. S300K is a precision medicine uh, national program uh, funded with uh, over $200 million in Singapore. Um, and the target, uh, as it suggests, is to have the uh, uh, full, full genome sequence of 100,000 Singaporeans um, um, covering both, uh, basically covering a, a random sample uh, of 100,000 Singaporean populations. And, uh, and, and then we will also map the sequence data with all their clinical data as well. Um, and all these data supposed to will be ready and share with all the researchers in Singapore to conduct various uh, clinical or biological related research. And uh, it will be host on the trust platform as well. And inspired by that, uh, uh, besides uh, the mapping of all our clinical data into the Home of CDM, uh, there's a huge uh, demand of, um, for us to, to figure out or, or to work with the, the Odyssey Global Work Groups to uh, deepen uh, uh, or further the development of the vocabularies that covers uh, various omics uh, uh, data variables. Right. I understand now, uh, uh, under again, uh, a chance leadership, that there's a genomic data uh, work group that already released some vocabularies and tables uh, to record the metadata of the various omic data. Um, but hopefully, we can expand that to, to include even uh, the audio uh, major uh, uh, omic features or the variants uh, as well. And, and, and if there's anything that uh, the Singaporean uh, researchers may participate in this effort. I do let us know. I believe many of them will be very keen to uh, join in this, this effort as well. Okay. Um, and for, for us, again, on, on talent building, there are, rather than individual uh, young leaders uh, in the country, we are also uh, building up more uh, uh, software engineers or data engineers. Uh, they are equipped with more mapping skills. 
Um, here, here is the graduation photo of our first cohort under our uh, National University of Singapore's uh, Biomedical Information Master Program. Uh, as you can see here, I, I, I'm here, and this is uh, Niam, uh, our co-chair. Uh, this is a graduation night for our first cohort with about 60 students. And uh, within our master program, there's uh, a dedicated course, actually taught personally by, by Niam here, uh, primarily focusing on uh, exactly the entire or more common data model. Um, and it was very well received. As you see, everyone was very happy. And now actually we are recruiting uh, uh, the second cohort for the master program, um, and, and uh, we are expecting to uh, double the cohort size uh, this year. Um, and uh, so we do hope that uh, some of them or, or, or will be able to participate in more uh, APEC studies or, or the global study in, in very near future. Right. And next, uh, looking forward to uh, 2024, right? Uh, 2024 is a very exciting year for Singapore uh, because uh, APEC Symposium is going to be in. in in Singapore in 2024. Uh, so here I look forward to seeing all of you uh, in Singapore in 2024. And here's one of the uh, landmarks in Singapore, our Marina Bay Sands Hotel, uh, which is a very fancy hotel with a casino uh, at the bottom. And you can see that there's a, almost like a boat uh, on top of the buildings with uh, 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 infinity swimming pool on top for all the guests, uh, the hotel guests, and also a few bars and restaurants on top, right? Uh, right after our Apex Symposium this year at Sydney. Um, um, I promise you that Niam and my team will be working hard, very hard for fundraising. Uh, if we did well, uh, we, 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 if we managed to do well, uh, then we may have sufficient funding to host our meetings uh, exactly at, at the Marina Bay Sands there. Uh, anyway, look forward to see everyone uh, attending the Apex Symposium in 2024. Uh, in addition to that, of course, as I mentioned, we hope that uh, our mapping effort will be able to finish uh, by quarter two next year. Uh, and with that, uh, I hope then uh, more Singapore institutes, uh, in addition to our own National University Health uh, System cluster, uh, if we encourage other clusters as well, or even the national uh, uh, platform or the national data uh, providers to join in more APEC and then global uh, study as well. So, so with that, uh, as I mentioned, um, if there's any questions uh, regarding our chapters, or if there's anything that uh, uh, anyone would like to collaborate with, uh, either our, our lab or, or other institutes in Singapore, uh, do feel free to uh, join me in an email. I look forward to uh, seeing everyone uh, in Sydney for this year's APEC Symposium. And of course, please do join us for next year for Singapore APEC Symposium as well. Okay, thank you. See you. Thanks, morning. Uh, I hope you can hear us uh, when you see the recording later. We have you on recording saying that the event is going to happen at the Marina Bay. We are so looking forward to this, right? Uh, we'll definitely annoy the hell out of you if you don't. <laughs> All right, so the last presentation uh, is going to be from Korea. So Professor Park uh, Ray is not gonna be with us today, but Chung Su will be presenting on behalf of him. Uh, Chungsu, I'll keep sharing the screen uh, if that's okay with you. Oh, okay, thank you. Sure. Uh, yeah, first of all, Professor Park says apologize for not attending today's meeting. So uh, I, I will uh, share briefly the uh, Odyssey Korea, about the Odyssey Korea. And, and next slide, please. Yeah. Uh, in. 2016, uh, in Korea, we have only two CDM database, but yeah, next please. But uh, through two national fundings, we, uh, including Le Chan and many researchers made uh, great efforts to introduce our CDM in Korea. So uh, next please. As a result, uh, now 62 hospitals joined to the Odyssey Korea, and uh, this includes 70% of tertiary teaching hospitals from all provinces of Korea. Uh, and data of national public institutions, including NHIS, National Insurance Service, or uh, Health Insurance Review and Assessment Service, HERA Korea, were also converted to their data uh, converted their data to a um, CDM. So currently, 
uh, we are closely working with uh, Hira for opening their CDM data to the public. Uh, next, please. Uh, yeah, next, please. I'll skip this. And we had 21 meetings with collaborators in Korea. Uh, we discussed the issues, especially governance issues and uh, collaborative research in this meeting. Uh, for this year, we will change this meeting to the two times of tutorial events. Uh, researchers in our group will teach uh, other researchers in another province uh, with in-person tutorial on uh, 28th June, this June, and the next one is uh, not yet, not decided yet. And uh, next, please. And we uh, uh, we encourage uh, the uh, other collaborators to joining this research border free zone. This is mutual cooperation agreement for uh, multi center collaborative research. And this, uh, when when you joining this RFG, and you can uh, access to uh, other institutions CDM data uh, unlimitedly, and uh, we we are approved. Uh, a single IRB program of each uh, hospital. So we are encouraging the data partners to joining this RFG and encouraging their collaborative research. And next, please. Yeah, for now, uh, 30 hospitals are participating this uh, RFG and yeah, this this number of uh, hospitals are uh, growing now. And next, please. And we also working to we are also working to shorten the CDM convergence cycle. Uh, so we introduced the uh, automated CDM conversion and the uh, cycle uh, the uh, cycle convergence as a result that 29 hospitals are performing uh, their conversion based on daily or weekly or monthly. So, and this uh, this uh, approach is, uh, and we, we encourage the other data partners uh, accepting this approach because we uh, need more uh, latest information for uh, much uh, many uh, studies. So we are encouraging to uh, introduce their hospitals. And next, please. Uh, recently, uh, the uh, project to projects to develop CDMs specialized for each clinical domain like uh, infectious disease or dementia are increasing in Korea. And this uh, project is named the a PAROS project. So we intended to develop a data, ma data management system based on uh, OMOP CDM for infectious disease. And this project is with uh, three uh, big hospital in Korea. So, and yeah, this maybe, uh, maybe in Korea, we, uh, we, I think the national funding project is more uh, specialized to the specific uh, clinical domain like this case. So, yeah. And yeah, next slide. And another challenge is to use the free text data of uh, in the EHR uh, database. Therefore, we are conducting uh, the identification uh, research using uh, using uh, deep learning models like such as uh, BERT. So next, please. So we developed the P uh, personal or uh, health health. Uh, identifier entities, a dictionary, including the name, phone number, and home address for masking. We already developed a draft version of the identification model based on the BERT, and its performance was quite good. And we have a plan to uh, 
implement this model to other hospital and we are preparing the task. And next, please. Yeah, uh, and we are uh, uh, consistently uh, striving to apply new technology based on our CDM network and FeedNet platform. Uh, as a result, we have introduced a federated learning algorithm to the FeedNet platform for uh, multi-institutional distributed learning. So this uh, enable us enables us to develop models uh, that have improved uh, generalizability across various uh, databases. Yeah, this was short sharing uh, about Odyssey Korea and on behalf of Professor Park and thank you for listening. Right, uh, thanks Chung Su. Uh, that's the uh, end of the uh, chapter updates that we have prepared for today. So uh, we have one minute left. Uh, are there any questions that uh, the community has for the uh, chapter leads here, or I think we're, I can give you guys 30 seconds back. <laughs> Not a question. I think it's more of a comment. It's actually quite amazing and exciting to see all the different efforts that are going on in the different uh, chapters and what that has entailed, right, of all these leaders having to do in this year and some of it last year right we got the taiwan team forming a society we got the japan team now forming an association right and we're talking about forming a, a an overall organization as well it's just quite exciting to see all the progress that's happening in asia pacific um in the past couple of years so kudos to all the folks that have been participating actually everybody here right so pat yourself on the back Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, thanks, Mui, for that uh, cl closing comment. Uh, anything else from the um, audience? I think we're right on time. All right. Uh, thanks, everybody. Um, see you at the APEC Symposium next month. The community call for July will be canceled. So we'll see each other back in August with another training session this time. I think it was from the, it was by the Australia chapter, by the way, Nicole. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll reach out separately to you <laughs> on that. <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks, everybody. Bye. Okay. Bye, everyone.